Hey guys, Taco Monkey here. Um, I'm coming back at you. I took a little break and now we're back with a Fallout 4 video. Um, a couple things. So I was doing the video earlier and I got an error thanks to, you know, Todd Howard not fixing his game. And uh, I froze. So I had a 30 minute video showing some stuff. This one's going to be a quicker vid. I do have the red eyes, which I think is cool. Uh, so a couple things so you know. We are right now at the uh, Saugus Ironworks, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, we traveled from Good Neighbor over here. I flew over this way. Uh, right in this little area here by the listing post was... Uh, where is it? Does it show it? Through the devil? Pyromaniac. Pyromaniac. I did Pyromaniac, so that, that one's done. All it is is you kill a guy, there's like three guys they're all forged one guy's got hellfire armor which is actually better than my armor right now because i haven't upgraded it fully yet but i didn't keep it it's okay i always liked the hellfire armor but i like the armor i got on now so i'm doing crucible and we are going to do the finch thing i did it and figured out so you get these mods for your legs and then you put them on your legs in to get this cool weapon. It looks like a cool weapon. Unfortunately, I just jumped in the fire after I got them and didn't put the mods on. So don't go into the fire and grab the gun when it tells you. Put on the mod. Where'd that little fucker go? It just, it's smarter. <laughs> just so you guys know. Makes it a lot easier. Disappearing out, uh, Where are you at? Oh, that you scared the heck out of me. That, she was like jumping, dude. That was freaky. Really freaky. Anyway. goodies there uh oh if you want a good laugh um read there's a terminal in this that, that t talks about how the forge the people they exile and didn't make it one guy's name is yanni <laughs> and uh he wouldn't change his name so they they exiled him and branded him i think that's hilarious so that's the guy that's got what you need um there's there's his armor, he's missing legs. Nice and, quick. and the legs, uh, you're supposed to attach the mods to the legs and be able to use them. Uh, for some reason, the computer has a glitch on this side, so you can't get through those doors you need to. Uh, so you need to go all the way up once you've killed off the uh, guys that are aggravating. There is, incidentally, a turret somewhere up here. No sign of them now. I forget where it will shoot at you. Oh, I think it's right there. Yeah, there it is. There we go. That'll take care of the problem. Now the weapon you want in question is in there, and there is the Raider's power armor right here. So uh, this is the Raider. He has some. Um, he must have been a field scribe or took it or something. But uh, so you gotta do that. You read the note. I'm not gonna read it to you. I read it to you guys in my other video, and then I had to. Del it, I lost the video completely. Like the error destroyed the video. It didn't even take it. So. <laughs> He's, they're doing a trial for the super awesome weapon. The only way to get to the weapon in question, which is here, you only get to it. If you touch that, you die. So you have to instantly. So you have to get the modded thing. You have to move this piece here. But the only way to do that is you turn off the water right here. Now the molten, or it says water, but it's really the molten lava stuff. 
couple good things. This is an excellent place, by the way, to get stuff for your power armor. Oh, went the wrong way. I gotta go back up. Um, excellent place to get stuff uh, as far as um, aluminum and um, what was the other thing? Excellent source of Molotov cocktails, too. Um, adhesive. Really good source of adhesive around here. Look at all the little cubbies, and it's just awesome. Uh-oh, what did I do? What's this? Take one sec here, guys. Hold on, I just got to double-check my phone. Oh, oh, it's just my monthly statement. Okay, cool. Anyway... Uh, yeah, right in here is a good source. You can lockpick this for experience, which I like doing, or if you get, and right in here in one of these cans is the key. You read that when you look at the armor thing. I'm going to do this for the experience. Anytime there's a lockpick, I prefer to do whatever I can for the experience. I got to turn my thing off so I don't keep having to hear that. Yes. Stealth. Oh, there's a stealth point here this time. So the smelters, console, things, which you wanted. But as you see, I pick up the tin can. Bam, keeper's toolbox key. So that was easy enough. Uh, again, like I said, aluminum, a couple, couple aluminum cans in here. Suffer some water for survival. I don't like being inside this place because it's notorious for, for freezing and locking. So I'm trying to get in and out as quickly as I can here. I hope this works out, but... I say that as I'm looking at all this stuff. Uh, here's the funny terminal. You read it. And, yeah, I'll just go straight to Yancey. 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 Refused to change his name. Fed him to the forge. That's great. I love it. They do have some funny stuff in here. So now... Wait, where... Oh, I have to read... Not the recruits note. Oh, it's the recruits note, yeah. So now use the console to move the crucible. You can't do that unless you turn off the molten lava first, and that means you go down up. So do it while you're down there, um, and then go to this console. It won't let you move it if molten lava is pouring, because then the molten stuff's all over the place. Put it down. There you go. Military grade, duct tape. Uh, so all you gotta do is just go ahead and transfer. Oh, what am I doing? Tran there you go. Transfer these here. Boom, boom. And then you got the mods on you already anyway so i would suggest just getting out of this armor get in that armor get the stuff so you don't hurt yours and uh there you go the flag flame resistance which is decent flame resistance do not get me wrong it is but i don't really i like i like what i got i don't need the flame resistance that is that is laser resistant that's pretty cool i think i will probably take the mods out after i do this but you want to make sure everyone's dead because they will jump in your power armor <laughs> and if they jump in your power armor god help you good luck bless blessed and, and hope you hope you survive it yes ghoul slayer heavy incinerator that's what this is. You're sent more damage to... That's kind of cool. Okay. I dig it. That's not bad. Um, I was just getting out. Oh! I did not see that landmine over there. Good to know. Yeah, watch out for that crap. Who the heck wants to walk over that? At any rate, I would personally come back, take it, and take the flame resistant... I think, yeah, yeah, you get to keep it if you take it off. There we go. Now you got it. I don't think they have any more mods. There's a welded plate if you want it. You always sell it. I take it. I don't know if there's a 
go in your inventory. Let's see. Yes, it does. Oh, they're not worth much at all. You'd think those would be worth a lot. Well, it's worth more. But whatever, not, not my problem. And then go ahead, jump back in, and you're done. That's it. So I am going to stop the video there. Um, I was just trying to show you guys how to do the quest. So there you go. That was easy enough. All done. Uh, and then I will start another video. We will be doing our, our survival continuation. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Like and subscribe. You guys have been great. We're up to 53 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. You all have been awesome. We love you. Uh, appreciate all your help. And uh, I will be doing some kind of giveaways and stuff. We're going to have fun. We're going to do a lot of fun things with this channel. So, as always, stay classy, guys. Love each other. And be happy. Taco Monkey is out.